Look at this. Look at look at all look at all these Mountain Dews we got here. Um, we're using Flash as our tiering software because I love it. But yeah, look at all these Mountain Dews. Mountain Dew is the default flavor, so by default, Mountain Dew belongs in C tier because it's just the average. It's gonna be our average. It's gonna be our baseline. Yeah, that is a lot of flavors, and I've tried almost all of these. Um, let's start with the classic. I think that Diet Mountain Dew is better than Mountain Dew. I'd say it's a solid B tier. All right, Ayala, how about how about you pick a flavor next? Uh, I'm ready. Ready, ready, ready. Easy S tier. Yo, Blind Coyote, thank you for that heckin' raid. How are you and your friends doing today? Howdy, howdy, Blind Coyote art and friends. I love your Piccolo Pickle avatar. It's so good, it's so good. All right, let's see. So I get to pick the next flavor. Um, I'm gonna say next flavor, um, shoot. I'm gonna say Game Fuel Orange deserves an E rank because it, it was bad. It doesn't deserve the flavor orange. Uh, Livewire is a top tier flavor. I thought it would taste like Livewire, but energy, but no, it tastes like orange cough syrup. You get an E. All right, who wants me to rank another flavor? Take a pick, take your pick, any pick. I'm listening. Gronk says Code Red. I think Code Red is A tier. It was my first flavor Mountain Dew that I like was obsessed with. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. I'll put it up there. But additionally, like, I think that it's a little too sugary. So I put Diet Code Red in the S tier. Like, Diet Code Red, definitely top tier. Definitely top tier. Oh, hello, you should be, uh, there we go. There we go. Um, yeah, so, Mountain Dew Code Red. I remember the first time I drank it at a, King, uh, what was it? I always called it King's Flags, no, it's Six Flags. Cause I was thinking like King's Island slash Six Flags. Um, yep, yeah, Captain, we're doing a tier list for Mountain Dew flavors. So, I'd say that Code Red is very high tier, because I vividly remember the first time I drank it. Big McLarge Huge says Dew Shine. I've never had that, but it sounds really good. Hmm. So yeah, I saw someone want me to review Mountain Dew Ice. Mountain Dew Ice is a poser drink. It's Mountain Dew pretending to be Sprite. I'm gonna put Mountain Dew Ice in the F tier, because it's just Sprite, but with the Mountain Dew name. Get out of here, Mountain Dew Ice. You don't deserve the name. Oh, you like potato? Heck yeah. Yeah, it's literally just clear Mountain Dew. No, no. It's Mountain Dew pretending to be Sprite. Disgusting. Disgusting. Evil. Just, just evil. Bad. Ice goes to the Shadow Realm because it doesn't even deserve to be called Mountain Dew. Die. Mountain Dew throwback tastes slightly better than Mountain Dew, even though it's exactly the same thing, so it goes to B tier. Uh, Gronk. Code Red belongs in the A tier. I will fight you. Code Red is like... Happy sugar blast for my taste buds. Uh, Maui Burst, uh, recently released at Dollar General stores. Pretty dang good, tastes like pineapples. Like, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Maui Burst, you get, you get mid, you, you're borderline S and A. I would say you're like high A, low S. Somewhat, somewhere around there. Sprite 2, Electric Boogaloo, true, true, true. Well, I mean, Wait, Gronk, you're addicted to Code Red, but you're calling it trash. You sound like someone that plays League of Legends. Oh man, yeah, Maui Burst is super good January. Just for that, we're gonna knock Maui Burst up to tier S. Um, oh yeah, your favorite Mountain Dew is the one from KFC? Oh, you're talking about our friend over here, Sweet Lightning? I think that Sweet Lightning is a high tier one to say the least. Um, I'd say that it's on tier with Baja Blast. Like, if you can go to a KFC, um, what is it? A KFC Taco Bell combo, you can get both Baja Blast and Sweet Lightning. I'd say it's totally worth it. Do not mix the two, it's disgusting. But, but yeah, put, I'd put Sweet Lightning in S tier for sure. Anthropomorphic Soul Patch? I think if you mix all the flavors, you'll get death. You will die. I will also say that, um, where is Mountain Dew Holiday Brew? Now, Holiday Brew and Merry Mashup are two very different flavors. Holiday Brew is sort of like Mountain Dew mixed with Code Red, but somehow you'd think that combining a C-tier Mountain Dew and an A-tier Mountain Dew would maybe make a B-tier Mountain Dew. Holiday Brew belongs in the S-tier. It's pretty tasty, but they replaced it with this thing called Merry Mashup. We're just going to zoom in on Merry Mashup because um, Merry Mashup, guess what? 
you deserve the naughty list. Mary Mashup is cranberry pomegranate flavored, which I found out is actually slang for tasting like trash. Uh, Mountain Dew Holiday Brew, you go to the F tier. Yeah, cranberry pomegranate, No, none of those things are good together. No, no, don't do it. Um, spiked Mountain Dew. Uh, it's supposed to be like Mountain Dew that's been so-and-so spiked with cactus juice. It's just, it's just lemonade. You go F tier. Not, not that good. Not that good. All right. Who is ready to enter what we in the business like to call... Let me, let me actually... Give me one second. I need to make this extra dramatic. Who is ready to enter the energy zone? That's right, we are entering the energy zone, everyone. Welcome to the energy zone. We are doing nothing but game fuels and kickstarts for this round. Y'all ready for the energy zone? We are going to be reviewing all the game fuels, all the kickstarts. First up, watermelon. We tried watermelon today. Gamer fuel. Um, tastes identical to watermelon kickstart, which is high tier. So, game fuel, watermelon. Not the best of the game fuels, but. B tier, B tier. Let's see. And since here's Watermelon Kickstart. The, the Watermelon Kickstart is just an echo fighter of Watermelon Game Fuel Zero. I think Game Fuel Zero holds a little bit of a trump card because it's a uh, zero versus like 60 calories. Gronk says Mike's hard code red. They stop beating around the bush and just put uranium in it. Heck yeah. I mean, back when I was in college, I used to make this thing called uh, Mountain Dew Blackouts where I'd mix, what is it, pitch black with vodka and I blacked out all the time. I was over 21 though, so it was legal. Raspberry Citrus, we're gonna say is also B tier. It's not bad, but it's not great. Um, Black Cherry Kickstart is an A tier. It's like Code Red, but a little more sour. It's like, if you like Code Red, but think it's a little too sweet, you should check out Black Cherry Kickstart. Very good, very good energy. That's where Cherry goes. Fruit Punch, kinda lame, D tier. It does, it's, just, it's just Fruit Punch, doesn't even have any Mountain Dew flavor to it. All right, Ayala, so you missed it. We are in the energy zone. We are we are rating our Mountain Dew energy drinks. Okay. So um, on this tier now? All right. Ayala says Voltage should be an S. I think Voltage is a B. I will meet you in the middle and put it in an A tier. Is that is that acceptable? Because, like, I'm bitter because Voltage beat out Supernova, which I legit, back when I was in middle school, I made Flash animations like saying, vote Supernova. Supernova, I miss you so much. You're also an A tier. I love you. I love you, Supernova. Please come back. Your beautiful, beautiful strawberry taste. Oh my gosh. Just for just for January saying that he loves Supernova, you're going, you're going in S tier. We miss you, Supernova. We miss you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just boop, 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 boop. Supernova. Super, Supernova. Supernova. I wish I would have won too. Yeah, Voltage. You're the one thing standing between me and having a supernova right now, Voltage. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, um, um, you better, you better watch out. Better watch out. Cause I got my, my fister cuffs ready to fist a cuff. I'm gonna do it. Uh, uh, I can what? help. Let me help. Hey, Ayala, hey, your arm. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, that, that's close enough. Yeah. Am I doing it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I think that Liberty Brew, I had a lot of it when it first came out, and when it first came out, I think I put it in D tier. Now I would say it's pretty good. I'd say it's like C tier. Do you agree, Ayala? D. D? You think it's a D? Yeah. I uh, think Whiteout's better. If, I mean, Whiteout is better, but I, I think that like, Liberty Brew, yeah, Liberty Brew is about on par with, uh, with fruit flavor. I don't like... Kickstart. Okay, well, Ayala's wrong. Welcome to the Alpaca Pack Wolf of the Night. That's such a cool username. I love how you spell it. All right, so Kickstart, um, just for, as context, it used to be that I go, it's like a breakfast energy drink, or at least that's how they made it. They, that's how they advertised it at first. They even like served it at Taco Bell breakfast, and they still do. Um, so I remember going to work and like walking to Publix on my way to work every day and getting a Mountain Dew Kickstart, and it was a great way to start my day. So I'm putting it in S tier. Oh yeah, the red is so bad, but if you think that red is bad, check out Game Fuel. Now you see, let's let's compare. But, but, but Game right. Fuel has the coolest cans. Hear me out, hear me out. Let's let's take a, a, a close up. Let's see. So this is Okay, here here's what this is. Here's a meme for you guys. This is you 
versus the can she tells you not to worry about. Wait, <laughs> the other way around. This is the other way around. This is you. <laughs> this is the Mountain Dew she tells you not to worry about. I see you like orcs. I see, I see. Oh, yeah. Uh, shout out to World of Warcraft for bringing back Game Fuel. The only reason I ever picked Horde when I did play uh, World of Warcraft is because they had the better Mountain Dew flavor. Uh, Alliance's Mountain Dew flavor sucks eggs. Not I'm, So here's my thoughts on this. So this is one of my favorite Mountain Dews ever. We're just going to tier this. This is an A tier. This is one of my favorite Mountain Dews back in high school. Um, what is next? Big Toxic Buns, you can say it. But this can. So you think that, oh, it's Game Fuel? They brought Game Fuel back? It's cherry flavored, just like the Cherry Citrus Game Fuel? No. You broke all my hearts and dreams, Red Game Fuel. You taste like cough syrup. No! Death is too good for you, Game Fuel! You're going to heck! You're going to the Shadow Realm. Mountain Dew contains flame retardant. Whoa, the more you know. So now if my house ever catches fire, I can put it out real easily. Also, I'll never catch fire because Mountain Dew is in my blood. This is the this is the label they deserve for being such terrible Mountain Dews. Game Fuel, so far, Game Fuel is pretending to be the better soda and Mountain Dew Ice is pretending to be the worst soda. All you pretenders don't deserve jack squat. <laughs> Gonna have a bad time. Did you just, did you just do this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hate it, and don't. I just realized, we haven't tried the raspberry game fuel yet. Yeah, we need to do that. Do you, do you want to go run down to the refrigerator and get it? Because we can do it, we can do a test on, on like, live on stream. Oh my god. Alright, okay. alright. Ayala's gonna be our B I'm while gonna, she... Gonna... Oh, gotta run! Ayala's running I'm like she got running. the runs. Mountain Dew Dark Berry. It's a C tier, it's nothing special, I don't really remember it too much, but it had some good, good flavor to it. Uh, Mountain Dew Kickstart that's just like flavored like Mountain Dew. That's a B tier because it's like the same flavor as normal Mountain Dew. It's like the Echo Fighter, but it's got more energy in it. So yeah, um, I think that's I think that's a good good assessment. All right, Al, you want to crack that Game Fuel first? All right, I want to open it. All right, oh, Ayala, do you need, need me to show you how I'm to open baby. it? baby. You are baby. All right, Ayala. So you see, uh, Mountain Dew Game Fuel is designed for gamers. That's why it's got such a tactical can. Wow. That's the sound of a tactical can opening. So I did a video review on this like a couple years back. And like the way the can works is like you pop it open and then the tab like slides open. And now I'm going to pour it into my cup. And it has been poured into my cup. And y'all are ready to watch me sip it, right? Yes. Delicious. Good? Is it good? Oh my god. But it's a zero sugar uh, raspberry lemonade. Alright, so Game Fuel Zero, you are getting my first impressions live on stream, gamers. Can I try? Uh, can I try? Yeah, can actually, Ayala. Alright, I'm gonna take one more sip. I'm gonna take one more sip if that's okay. Alright, Ayala, you go. Oh. Alright, so I'm gonna count down. Three, two, one, after you take a sip, and we're gonna say what letter we think it deserves, okay? Yeah. All right, let me know when you're ready. Ready. All right, three, two, one, A. a. All right, a. we agree? A. It's, it's an A tier? tier? All right. Mountain Dew Game Fuel Zero, you heard it first, folks. This flavor is an A tier. Oh, yeah. So it's got that raspberry lime or raspberry lemonade flavor it's, to it. It's really decent. I actually really like this, and I don't oh, yeah. even like zero sugar uh, energy drinks. But just, this is pretty. This is pretty good. Just don't slam too much of it, or else we'll be up all night, Ayala. But thankfully, uh, with Game Fuel, like you can just pop the, you can like slide the lid closed, and we can save it for later. See, watch this, Ayala. You all can't see because my hands are too low. But Ayala, watch this. Watch this. Kachoo. Kachow. You can just reseal these cans because they're so big because gamers can't drink too much energy or else they'll die. And on the topic of zero sugar, uh, Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Now, you've seen the ads for it. You've seen the talks of it. Now, you can already tell that I kind of like diet soda because I grew up on diet sodas. Uh, you see, I can only really have soda when I was at my grandmother's house. But my grandma has diabetes, so she can only have diet sodas. So I love Mountain Dew as a kid, but I can only have the diet Mountain Dew. So that means that diet Mountain Dew is one of my favorites, but it's in B tier. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar tastes similar to diet Mountain Dew, but better! A tier! Okay, so I'm going to have to group the grape flavors together. Um, so pitch black, I would say... Yeah, tastes like cough syrup, but great with alcohol, D tier. <laughs> Kickstart, tastes also like cough syrup, but includes energy. A Little bit better, also great with vodka. Mountain Dew Violet from Japan, my girlfriend got it for me as a gift for Christmas. 
It's it was four ninety nine. It was a an imported gift for my girlfriend. Doesn't matter how it tastes. It's a good. It's 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 taste is B tier, but the sentimentality is S tier. I love you too. Uh, we're gonna review the rest of the game fuels, right? Uh, the energy boys. All right, lime kickstart. Uh, it's like a limeier version of base Mountain Dew. I'd say it's A tier. Solar flare. I've had it, but I don't remember how it tastes. So what, if you're what mountain, flavor is it? What it, is solar flare? I've never I think it's like it. strawberry something. So it's like Nova. No, it's not like Supernova. The point is, it's so forgettable, I don't remember it, so it gets easier. Uh, the fact is, I know I drank it, but I don't remember what it tastes like. Usually you remember every single moment that you have drank a Mountain Dew flavor, and I'm surprised you do not remember that. It must have been right. during a bad time. Right. Um, next up, Kuladas. Now, you may have noticed that I scrolled down a little bit so we could reveal the Shadow Realm, because that's where our friend Mountain Dew Kulada goes to. Duncan noticed Kuladas are like drinking rubber bands. Um, uh, and really? if you- Really? Yeah. I didn't know they had a Mountain Dew Kulada. And it was a mistake. It was uh, a mistake. Uh, oh, oh. But, any whomstid of. Uh, I love Duncan Dew. I love Duncan Dew Newts too, but Kuladas can taste like rubber bands if, if created prop- if, Sorry, if created improperly. And if you dare, dare ruin a Mountain Dew by putting it in a coffee house, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? Shadow Realm to you. Um, Happy Dew Year! Now, you all may have never seen this flavor before. This beautiful, beautiful peach flavored Mountain Dew. Oh, did, did, did you ever, you got it? No. It's going to the Shadow Realm because the folks at Pepsi Company decided not to release it. Wait, hey! Is it Voodoo? No, I'm talking about Happy Dew Year. The one that was supposed to release oh. for New Year, and then Pepsi Company was like, you know what? We don't need to release this. So you know what? You know what? You know what? Oh. Death is too good for the Pepsi scientists. Y'all, y'all just created a Peach Mountain Dew and you're not gonna give it to us? <gasps> Come on. Come on. Well, they gave us Sweet okay. Lightning. They gave us, they gave us Sweet Lightning, but it's not in a bottle. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Happy Dew Year should have happened, but it didn't. And now it's a sad Dew Year. 2020 sucks, and only because we never got a Happy Dew Year. So... What if we got a not, not a Happy Dew Year drink, but like a peach drink that's the same flavor but it's not a New Year drink. I mean, Sweet Lightning is S tier. So, I so mean, did yeah. Mountain what I'm saying is, for it? Happy Dew Year would have probably been an S tier, but because it was killed in before it even hit the stores, that's that's why it's in the Shadow Realm. <laughs> I'm gonna kick Pepsi Man in the shin. Yeah, kick Pepsi Man in the shin. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm gonna call up my friend Pepsi Man right now. Wait, what? Um, what? Uh, ding dong. Hello, is this Pepsi Man? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Phones, phones make the ding dong noise. Um, <laughs> Uh, yes. Hello, is this Pepsi Man? Hello, this is Pepsi Man. Oh, hey, Pepsi Man. How's it going? Can you, can you just come on, come on over to my stream, please? Sure, I can do that. I'm right here. Oh, wow, Pepsi Man. I'm, I'm so glad that you're here coming to my stream. Um, all right, I'll leave the door open for you, buddy. Um, just, just head over as soon as you can, Pepsi Man. Um, be sure to bring, um, your thoughts on, on Mountain Dew Happy Dew Year. I'm sorry, we thought it wouldn't be a profitable drink, so that's why we did not release it. Oh no, Pepsi Man, you're so wrong. You're so wrong, Pepsi Man. Wouldn't it just be wouldn't it just be awful? Like just just come on over. Come on over, Pepsi Man. I, I'm coming on over. Alright, alright, all right, Pepsi what? Man. What uh just just what? come on come on over. I'm, I'm, I'm Alright, so come on, Pepsi Man. Over here. Over here, Pepsi Man. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, okay. Oh, is, okay, Pe Pepsi Man's here. There oh, he is. Hello. Oh hello hello, Pepsi Man. Hello, Pepsi, Pepsi Man. How's how you doing? Hello. How you doing? Uh, Pepsi Man. So I heard that uh, that you weren't a big fan of releasing our friend. Um, what was her name? Oh, I know. Uh, Happy Do Year. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? Once again, I said that we did not think this flavor would be profitable because everyone hates the New Year and never has real New Year resolutions, so they end up completing. All right. Well, Pepsi Man, take this. Take this, Pepsi Man. Here's here's what you get for for not letting us have Happy Do Year. Here here you go. Hey, Pepsi Man, Pepsi Man. All right, I, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Pepsi Man. Just just come on, just come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. <laughs> sorry, Pepsi Man. I'm so sorry, Pepsi Man. Why don't you Why don't you just, just come on, just come on, come on, come over, come over, come over here. Just, that was very aggressive. I I'm I'm, I'm I'm sorry, Pepsi Man, but um I'm gonna I'm gonna get here here take that right in the shin right in the shin Pepsi Man right in the shin. That, 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 yeah, yeah. I hope, I hope, uh, I hope you 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 think next time before you decide to not release a Mountain Dew. 
Try try the try it again next time, Pepsi Man. Try it again next time. Okay. Yeah, don't don't mess with us, Pepsi Man. Don't mess with us. Cause like I really wanted to try Happy Do Year. I really wanted to try Pepsi Pepsi Man. Why would you ever do that? Why would you do that? Mountain Dew Whiteout. It's just Squirt, but Squirt's pretty good. B tier. All right, Mountain Dew Game Fuel, the green flavor. It's the exact same as Mountain Dew, but with energy. Let's give it a B tier. It's all right. Uh, Game Fuel Yellow, pretty tasty. Goes in A tier. Game Fuel Blue goes in A tier. And speaking of A, A Yala, what is your opinion on Mountain Dew Voodoo? Uh, Voodoo, what was that? It tasted like gummy worms, right? I tasted like Skittles? Or Skittles. Skittles uh, slash... Alright, C. Yeah, I'd say it's like a, a, a C tier. It wasn't bad. It was very fun trying to guess what the flavor was. But it wasn't the best. Yeah. It was alright. It was alright. Next up, Sangrita Blast. I remember back when I was in Kuleg and I was very poor and had no money, so I took a gallon-sized Arizona tea bottle that was empty. Welcome to Alpacabag, Iceberg! So I went to Taco Bell with this empty Arizona tea bottle and asked the manager, Hey man, how much would it cost me to just fill this up with Sangrita Blast? And he just looks at me, just looks at me with the most defeated look in his eyes. He's just like, just do it, kid. I don't care. Just, just, just fill it up. Just fill it up. That's a, that, that, that's a mood. Yeah. And anyway, Sangrita Blast slaps. Uh, it was no Baja Blast, but it was still very good. It's, I remember you in the past saying that you preferred Sangrita Blast over Baja Blast. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes, Ayala. <laughs> anyway, it's A tier. Um, next up is Mountain Dew Cyclone. Mountain Dew Cyclone is the Echo Fighter of Sangrita Blast. However, it's only served at Speedway stores. But Speedway is very... It was pretty good, though. It was, it was pretty good. good. It was pretty good. But Speedway, like, waters down their drinks. Um, and so it doesn't taste as good as it did at Taco Bell. So it's a B tier. All right, next up, Mountain Dew Livewire. This one, I would say... Um, is above S tier? I would wait, 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 above Baja. Yeah, I would actually say that Livewire has stolen the crown from Baja Blast. Oh, oh, yeah, I know. What? Big, big upset, right? <laughs> big upset. What? I'm no longer the Baja Alpaca, but anyway, Livewire. So I'm at this pool party, and I'm like a Mountain Dew flavor that I've never had before. And my elementary schooler brain goes into overdrive. I taste it. It's a mix of tart and sweet. And holy heck, is it the taste of summer? So Mountain Dew Livewire deserves a triple S. And now you may notice a pattern here. The diet flavors of drinks usually go a tier above the ones that, that precede them. So you see Mountain Dew is C tier. Diet Mountain Dew is B tier. Code Red is A tier. Diet Code Red is S tier. What does that mean? Oh. Yo, Yero! Thank oh. you for them bitties. Anyway, the champion tonight is Mountain Dew Baja Blast oh, oh. Zero Sugar. You, you, you duped me. I duped you. I, th I thought, I, I thought, I thought that. Oh. Oh. No, I love Baja Blast Zero Sugar the absolute most. It's a little bit lighter than Baja Blast, but it's got those sweet, sweet flavor notes. It's like the only Zero Sugar drink that I think tastes better. Well, actually, I mean, like, the significantly better than the other ones. But yeah, Baja Blast Zero deserves so good. It's so good. And it's coming to cans in April. I can't wait. I'm very excited to see where everything goes. Uh, but Ayala, you yes. can finish this up by deciding where Black Label goes. So, yeah. Uh, Ayala, where do you think Black Label deserves to go? I said, uh, C. All right. Black Label, enjoy C tier. All right, gamers, let's start from the bottom. Shadow Realm, flavors that did not get to see the light of day or flavors that don't deserve to see the light of day are Happy Dew Year, Mountain Dew Kulata, Red Game Fuel, and Mountain Dew Ice because th these two are liars. This one is just doesn't need to exist. And Happy Dew Year sounds delicious, but Pepsi Man said it's not allowed to exist. Next up on the actual tier list, F rank is Merry Mashup, why would you put cranberries and pomegranates in my Mountain Dew? Get the heck out! D don't do that! Mountain Dew spiked? You lied to me. You said there would be alcohol. Wait, no, there's not. It's just prickly pear juice. Get the heck out of here! Why, you don't like cactuses, you nerd? I, I love cacti, but I don't love cacti- Lies! They should have just called it Mountain Dew cactus instead of Mountain Dew spiked. <laughs> Hello, Kenny. How's it going? Hi, Kenny. Um, Mountain Dew Game Fuel Orange is in the E tier because 
It doesn't taste anything like orange kickstart, which is an energy flavor that already exists. That's orange flavor, and it's on in the S tier because it's delicious. Solar flare is super forgettable, so it's E tier. In D, we've got Mountain Dew Kickstart Fruit Punch. Mike's Hard Boba Tea. It's just marbles. <laughs> Mountain Dew Pitch Black only tastes good with vodka. Very monsoon. It's like a melted icy, but icies are only good because they're frozen. C tier, Mountain Dew. This is our baseline. It's just normal one. It's not bad. It's not good. Uh, blue tier, or blue flavored of game fuel. It's eh. I don't care too much for it. Ayala likes it. It's C tier. Dark Berry is just the same thing. Kickstart Grape. Tastes better than Pitch Black, but like, yeah, not by much. I think they made a caffeine-free version of Diet Mountain Dew, but that's it, I think. Mountain Dew Voodoo, pretty good, but not great. C tier. Mountain Dew Black Label, also same mood. B tier. Diet Mountain Dew, tastes better, no calories. Mountain Dew Throwback, tastes better, because it's got real sugar. Mountain Dew Zero Watermelon, it's alright. It's alright. It tastes almost exactly the same as Kickstart Watermelon, which is marginally better. Raspberry Citrus, also pretty okay, it's a B tier. Mountain Dew Kickstart Ultra. It's just Mountain Dew with energy. Nothing wrong with that. Same with Game Fuel. Cyclone. The reason why Cyclone is in this tier is because it's an Echo Fighter of Sangrito Blast. But it was really good, though. It's really good, though. But trust me when I say Sangrito Blast is significantly better. Because it's, it's literally the same it's, formula. It's the same the formula. The reason you don't the like it is because it was in a pop fountain. Yeah, that's the thing. No, no. It's from but a it's gas station. ALA. It's, it's, it's the same flavor, but they water it down at Speedway so they can make more money off of it. That's why it's not as good. Yeah, Sangrita Blast is a B tier because it does wonderful memories and wonderful flavor zones. Game Fuel, it does taste very similar to a Blue Icy, but really good. Uh, yellow Game Fuel tastes sort of like a yellow Starburst in the best way. Um, white Out tastes like, what is it? Squirt? We like Squirt, right? We, I, squirt we, is we one stand of my squirt. Pops. We stand Squirt. So next up, Mountain Dew Kickstart Limeade. It's like Limeade Energy. It's like lime flavored Mountain Dew, which is a good, good taste. A little more tart than Baja Blast, which is also lime flavored, but it's got energy, so B tier, or no, A tier. It's A tier. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Even better than Diet Mountain Dew, it's A tier. Mountain Dew Raspberry Lemonade Game Fuel Zero. No it's calories. It's pretty good. It's got that energy juice. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm very pleasantly surprised that I enjoyed it. All right, Game Fuel, a.k.a. Mountain Dew Cherry Citrus, the real Game Fuel back before these energy drinks came in here trying to steal their name. Um, the Horde flavor was the best flavor. It's Cherry Citrus. It's like Livewire meets Code Red with like a the scoop Horde of sugar thrown in. It's like delicious. I'm thinking Black Cherry Kickstart uh, is A tier along with Code Red. Cherry flavor and Mountain Dew go really well together. Code Red's a little more sweet. Kick Black Cherry's a little more tart. Anyway, we're going to move on to the S tier. These belong in A. So, Diet flavors taste better than the original flavors. Diet Code Red, S tier. Baja Blast, S tier, because it's the bestest flavor ever. Thank you, Taco Bell. Thank you, Vase Taco Bell. Maui Burst, pineapple flavor, delish. Sweet Lightning, almost as sweet as my Sweet Lightning colored GF. This one, this one. Tastes like peach rings, it's delicious. It's delicious. I love peach rings. Uh, Holiday Brew. So, okay, so you'd think that, like, Combi it tastes like Code Red and Mountain Dew mix. You think that combining an A tier and a C tier would make a B tier, right? False. It makes it an S tier. Holiday Brew is so delicious, and that's why this liar, Mary Mashup, tried to steal its place and gets an F. Mountain Dew Supernova, the real winner that should have beaten out Voltage. I miss you so much. Uh, Kickstart Orange Flavor. It's great because it's a breakfast Mountain Dew. I can drink it for breakfast and feel normal about that. Yeah, Red pour one out for really Supernova. Good. We miss you, Supernova. And... The last member of the S tier is Mountain Dew Violet. It's not the most amazing flavor of Mountain Dew. It's kind of like pitch black but with elderberries in it, but it looks like a Splatoon and it was a gift from my beautiful, beautiful girlfriend for Christmas. So the memories attached to Mountain Dew Violet make it an S tier. Livewire, it's like sweet but tart. It's the perfect flavor combo. It's the taste of summer. And the only reason to go back to Indiana other than family, um, cause they sell it there and they don't sell it here in Dumbo, Georgia. And following the trend of diet flavors tasting better than the originals, Mountain Dew Baja Blast Zero Sugar is the best flavor of Mountain Dew. It is like Baja Blast, but doesn't have that sugary aftertaste. It's the best. It is the absolute best. I love it so dang much. And with that, we have completed our tier list. Yay! All right, does anyone have any disagreements? Well, if you do, you're wrong, because this is the definitive 
flavor zone. This is what Mountain Dew is flavored like. So? Art. Art. Pure art. Pure art.